Oh, well, good. So, at least I know this almost never, ever, ever happens. Oh, wait. I was doing this before you were born. Actually. No, no. Nine, okay, I did this in 1982. So that's all before you were born. Well, strapping, probably 1991. Okay. When year were you born? I was born in 81. So. Oh, you're old. Yeah, I know. I know. This is the young stud over here. Heads up, heads up, right, 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 right. And there you go. And just like that, something happens. You okay, right, Bri? Yeah, yeah. Very dangerous work. Right back to work like nothing happened. If I wasn't on camera, I'd be crying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright bub, day four, right? Last day. Last day is definitely crunch time and you can feel it kind of in the air. Where everybody's buzzing around. You guys stayed late last night to finish off this seam that ran down through here so that now we've got all the liner that we need, theoretically, unless you overbuild it like some people that have been before you, but that's what I do. I love it, dude, because we've set a few rocks in through here to continue that stream and, and starting to get into that little waterfall that's going to be over there. So we have that to finish today. Walk me through. So we've got just kind of detailed stuff following over here. And then explain to me this area over here as well. Uh, so here, this is the, the hot spring. We're going to have fire in this fire pit. We're going to have three fire basalt columns. I think over in that corner and here too, a couple clusters. So this hot spring, you won't really see any of the any of that inside, but when it gets up to full level, we're gonna give the illusion that it's flowing into the stream, down into the drop stream. That's the way they work in nature, so we're gonna mimic that look. Now there's gonna be a hell of a lot of movement in here. I yeah, saw we've got a bunch of aerators and colored lights, and it'll be kind of a boiling, steamy effect. Actually, the water's gonna be hot. We're gonna heat the water too, so. You gonna get in there with your mankini? Oh yeah, we'll get in there. Cool. Yeah. This thing's all, that's all buttoned up. It looks amazing. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Dude, it, it does, because right as I got Got back here you had just plugged the pump in we had yeah. just enough water in the stream and you did and it looks freaking incredible <laughs> this, so, awesome. um, this, this whole project turned out almost exactly how i had it in my mind which isn't always the case sometimes the stuff changes but it this turned out pretty awesome you can see we've got daniel over here antonio's working on what will be kind of that faux infinity edge or maybe we'll make a game day decision and see what happens over there but it, uh, look, yeah. it looks awesome yeah, they, they, we, we have uh two spillways plumbed up that's so gonna flow over that line fantastic yeah, it's really fantastic awesome. Awesome. Well, we will check back in in a little bit, but until then, enjoy the B-roll and enjoy the montage. We're going to get cooking. Oh, well, good. So, at least I know this almost never, ever, ever happens. Oh, wait. I was doing this before you were born. Actually. No, no. Dan, what? how does it make you feel knowing that you have Greg Wissack, the pond guy, helping you build a waterfall? Is this just like your dream come true or is it your worst nightmare? But I did invite him, so. Okay, that's well, fine. that's good. At least we know we're equal opportunity around here. So that's a good deal, good deal. All right, well, let's see how he did. This is the second time this rock is being placed. Pulling the liner back, dig it out, pushing it back, putting the rock into place, doesn't fit, pull the liner back, dig it out, put it back, and this is the jigsaw puzzle. So every water feature is a jigsaw puzzle, and you can't order the rocks. You gotta look at the pile of rocks and figure out how it goes together as a jigsaw puzzle, and it just doesn't snap in the first time, you gotta move it, but let's see how this joint looks now. Now they're going to do a shim rock, and they're seeing if this is the right height for that rock. These are the little things that artists communicate about. And then the artist communicates with the operator with hand signals to make sure that it's right. And there you go. And just like that, something happens. You okay, right, right? Very 
very dangerous work. Right back to work like nothing happened. If I wasn't on camera, I'd be crying. <laughs> How many pond builders does it take to put a swing up? There was two before, and not bad. 12 hours, Dan, pretty good. <laughs> Can't wait to see if they hold. <laughs> yep. It must mean if we're swinging, it's gotta be pretty close to being done. I saw you swinging over here and I couldn't resist. <laughs> it looked like fun. Heck yeah. Dan, awesome idea with the swing. Thanks. Do you think it'll actually hold me though? <laughs> I mean, it, it helped me, so it should hold you. <laughs> Unbelievable design, love it. What do you think your favorite part's gonna be? Uh, honestly, I think it's that little, that small waterfall, the little mossy. The mossy, waterfall. the mossy yeah. falls. That, I don't know, I like it all. I love this big waterfall. When, when the stream gets going, when the when the, when the turn everything on, the way it comes through there, I think it's gonna be pretty epic. It's yeah, awesome. it's gonna be incredible. Cool. You wanna so, fire it up? Yeah, yeah, uh, Chris is getting the power set up right now. All right. We'll fire it up and then we'll drain it down. Blake, man, did you enjoy this? Yeah, it's freaking awesome. Every pond is just so unique to me, it's so cool. That's cool. You're inspired to do something now different at your place, oh, right? Yeah, already. Yeah. I already wanna do I like this rock, I have to do something with this I kind can't, of rock. I can't wait to come see your, what kind of otters? Uh, small clawed Asian otters. Small clawed Asian otters would love this as a home. Heck yeah, they would. Makes me want to be a small clawed Asian otter is what it does. <laughs> What's up everybody, Ed the Pond Professor here. I am with Roy and we are just pulling up over at Max McGraw Wildlife Foundation. So this is the location, probably about 30 minutes from our office. Really, really cool place. We have been here before. We've hooked up with our buddy Gordy. Uh, definitely check out some of those old videos, but we are here to pick up some trout today. So stand by for this. This is gonna be a cool one. Okay, Austin, where are we going right now? Max McGraw. Okay, and what are we doing, Blake? We're going fishing. We're going, yeah, that's it. We're going fishing. And we're with Cynthia. Are you excited hey, about hey. this? Oh, I'm so excited. So we're following Roy and Ed, and that vehicle right there is filled with a tank. And now here we are at Max McGraw's. Now we've actually got to figure out how to get it. All right, so we are walking on over to the trout stream, which is awesome. I have been here during the summer. I've been here during the fall. I've never been here during the winter time, but it is a spring-fed system. So this is the perfect habitat for these incredible animals. So what I love about this is, as soon as Mark and Dan started putting their designs together, we knew this would be the perfect place for us to get the fish for their cool Northwestern stream system. Check this out. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. So again, spring-fed system. The water is always going to be flowing the low 50s, maybe upper 40s. But look at all that steam rising up all this off of How everything. beautiful is that? Is absolutely beautiful. I love they actually have like water crests and stuff growing around the perimeter, which is a really cool indicator for good water quality. Last time we here, I remember seeing a bunch of trout up in that upper section, but then that lower part, I could actually see fins oh, wow. coming up all over the place. <laughs> Those guys are active. It's a cold water species. They love That's highly cool. oxygenated water. So this is going to be really cool to see. So this That's water so cool. never freezes, Ed? It shouldn't. It shouldn't. It should not freeze. Well, let's go up here. Let's go check out the big guys up here. They're in there. They are in there, but normally you Look would at that see steam. Them. I know, it's cool, it's isn't awesome. it? Actually, duckweed, water. Look at that giant one right there. Oh, yeah, it, it is. Yeah, it is. This is so cool. So what's the story with this stream? Uh, the stream, when Max McGraw was alive and he was building a stream, they were digging about 200 yards up this way, is what we call the head pool. And they dug into like an artesian spring. We're blessed to have this in Northern Illinois where we're, it's produced be, between 600, 900 gallons a minute of groundwater. So we're able to support a trout population. It's a put and take trout, so we stock them and people catch them. But the water's cold enough and it doesn't freeze and it's ideal for the trout. So we're really blessed to have this on our property. What's the temperature? The temperature right now is about 48 degrees. Okay, 48 degrees. Okay, yeah. that's good because we don't have to make it too cold. Okay, because we're putting snow in right now into the pond. Oh, that's a question that Mark Yeah, yeah. Sure. 